Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, KCWO TV. Join me on this week's episode of Insights on Zambian Film Stars as I get to feature the one and only Sophie Mbao. Join me right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. If you haven't followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, kindly follow me at KCBO1 and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now let's go straight into finding out more about Sophie Mba. Hi Kezia, thank you very much. My full name is Sophie Mbao. Sophie with a PH. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Who is Sophie Mbao? Interesting question. <laughs> Sophie is a woman. I am a woman, an African woman, a Zambian woman, a woman who is determined, a woman who is creative and still trying to find her food in a male-dominated industry. I'll lead with the fact that I am a professional actress and an aspiring filmmaker, aspiring director, and cinematographer. I told you, ambitious. <laughs> when did you start acting? <sighs> That's an interesting story. I started acting in the year 2016. Um, our industry is not the easiest to penetrate, really. So I had my own challenges, you know. I attended several auditions before my big breakthrough. And, um, you know, you'd attend auditions and then just get cameo roles in the end and everything. I attended a particular audition in 2017 for... A movie which was which was never shot but you know those auditions where you feel really good about it because you know you did good like you can just feel it in your heart and you're like oh okay I give that one my I, I gave it my all I gave it my best I mean nerves are a natural I feel like they're a natural part of every artist like no matter how good you are there are just certain moments where you, um, where nerves will kick in. And I feel that happens to most of us or a lot of us really. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know, maybe it's not for others. But yeah, sometimes you tend to get really nervous, like, especially if you're going for an audition or something. But this particular audition was different. I was so comfortable and I managed to like, just, you know, leave it all on the table. So when I did get a call back, oh, I was, I was sad, you know? I was sad. I started to question myself. I started to question my abilities. There are just certain situations that, you know, you know you are good and you know you gave it your all, but if nothing good comes of it, you start wondering to say, was I good enough? You know, did I really do my best? And um, because of that, I became really demoralized, so much so that I decided to put the whole um, casting calls and auditions on hold. At the time, I was working as a marketing executive, so I just got really engulfed in the work that I was doing and I put it, I, I just put it on hold. I said, you know what? I'm going to come back when I am ready to start all over again. <laughs> so what I did know, however, is that during that same audition, I had caught the eye of one of the judges. She says I left a mark and she spent one year looking for me. I believe in the saying, never give up, because you never know just when you are about to give up, that's when your breakthrough might be coming or headed your way. That is my story. Because just the moment where I'd given up and I stayed, I think, a whole year, and I didn't attend any audition, I, you know, ignored casting calls and everything, there was a woman out there who was looking for me. So fast forward to 2018, when she finally found me, you a friend. At this time, however, I was heavily pregnant. Yes, I am a mother of one. I have a little girl, a four-year-old daughter. So in 2018, I was pregnant with my daughter when she finally found me and reached out to me. She's like, oh my God, where have you been? I've been looking for you. 
and of course i didn't tell her that i had shunned you <laughs> I had shunned my talent for a while. I was just like, no, I'm pregnant. And, you know, I just say to keep things on the low, low. So she's like, oh, my God, I need to work with you. I've been looking for you. And I'm glad that I found you. I said, but I'm pregnant. And, you know, when I was pregnant, let me just say this. I was ugly. Oh, respect, respect. Pregnancy can, pregnancy can disrespect you. Pregnancy can humble you. I was, please don't ask me for my pregnancy pictures. Because <laughs> I looked really bad. So I told her, I said, no, I'm pregnant and ugly. <laughs> she laughed so hard. And she said, no, you're pregnant, but you're not ugly. And there is something that I want you to do. There was, there's something that I wanted you to do. But in your condition, there's another role in the movie. And um, the character is pregnant. So, you know, why not use a real pregnancy? So I was a bit, I was a bit hesitant, but she, she managed to, she managed to make me do it. <laughs> she's that woman. We call her godmother. We call her godmother Wafilimo because she's, she's that woman. She will literally just talk you into believing yourself and just build on your confidence and everything. So I was um, a supporting cast in the movie Husband for Rent, and that was my biggest uh, debut. That was in 2019, I think. Yes, that's when we shot the movie. And that, that marked the beginning of my journey, really, because it was from there that I went on to uh, Minister's House, the series. And then through Oram Casting Agency, I also found myself on um, Zambezi Magic's first uh, hit telenovela, Zuba, okay, where I play the role of Detective Inutu. I joined them from um, season three. And we're now in the sixth season. Got an opportunity to play um, a, a co-star on a movie called Girls to Ladies, where I was also a production manager because through my time in front of the camera, I realized there was so much work behind the camera that I was passionate about and I wanted to learn. So I took my time off camera to just learn um, um, to learn uh, things that you know go on in different departments and grow my interest and at this particular time I was for the first time ever working as a production manager on this movie we premiered this movie in December of uh, yeah December of 2020 that's when it premiered at Stokeni for Monday Hill it was my very first time on the big screen and it was amazing <laughs> i would relieve that moment <laughs> any day any time it was it was awesome it was an amazing experience and i'm currently working on my third movie um called graft where i'm also production manager these are both movies by oz films now or media what challenges have you faced as an actress those are many but i think i will I think I'll just talk about two for now, in no particular order, really. But um, yeah, I think one of my biggest um, challenges has been time so far, because I've been doing, you know, more than two things, two things at the same time. So I'll be working this side and you know, learning on the other side, shooting something on the other side. So. Time has been a challenge. Um, this is a career that is very jealous and it wants you to give it your hundred, you know. So sometimes you don't even get to have time for yourself, you know, or time for friends and family. Not as much as um, I normally do before I went um, uh, full time into acting. The other challenge also is just learning to manage the fame that comes with being on TV, you know? Because sometimes I get random calls and random confessions and somebody will just be like, this is one of my dreams. And I'm like, what? That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. And you never know where it's coming from. Is it real? Is it coming from a fan? Is it... You, you need to <laughs> you learn how to manage it because if you don't I think those are cases where you find that um, 
you know someone perhaps is considered to be all over the place and you know trending on social media for the wrong reasons and everything and i don't like trending on social media for anything good or bad i'm afraid of social media <laughs> and also there's also the fans who just you know for lack of better terms won't respect your privacy they don't find you after hours and they're just excited to see you you know they want to say hi they want to take pictures with you so you have to be in a good mood all the time because then again if you're not you're considered rude if you're considered rude you find yourself trending <laughs> for wrong reasons you know so yeah those i think are among the challenges that i will point out for now apart from acting what else do you do so like i said i'm a student i am learning all things film okay because my mentor always says to be a good director you need to have experience in all the different departments so i've basically been learning everything right now i'm doing sound okay from sound i want to go to cameras and um, i've done production management already so yeah i am trying to work on my craft what is your dream character apart from the character that you have already played good question um so far all the characters that i have played um i have not found the one character that has challenged me yet i want to be challenged i want a character that will take me out of my comfort zone a character that will cause me to um go into method acting you know because i want to lose myself and just bring this character out i think when i find that character i'll know <laughs> it's like falling in love you know they just you just know that he's the one or she's the one <laughs> so yeah when i do find that character i think i'll know but yeah that would be my dream character you know the character that would take me to next place <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the coming years? I see myself directing. By then I should have completed my studies and I see myself directing. I see myself behind the camera as a camera director. Because when I said cinematography, uh, let me just clarify that. Uh, being a DOP is, is very technical. Okay, it's very technical, it takes years of experience. You don't just come up and record something on your phone and you're calling yourself a DOP so no when I say cinematography I want to learn to be a camera operator I think I'll start there okay not really go into the technical stuff of, uh, of, of, of um, uh, being a DOP and also when I talk about sound I also want to learn how to take good sound and identify good sound because 50% of a good movie is good sound so I want to be able to identify and to record the sound for myself, like good sound. And of course, the sound designing and everything else will be done by the experts. <laughs> you know, but things like um, being a Foley artist, being a Foley recordist, I think those are things that I want to learn and be able to do as well. So that I can, you know, also make some monies behind the camera. Where do you see yourself 10 to 15 years from now? I still see myself acting, yes. <laughs> I still see myself acting. I see myself um, having perfected my craft and on bigger platforms, you know, like Netflix. <coughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely still going to be acting in the next 15, 20 years from now. Are you working on any projects at the moment? Yes, I'm still very much on Zuba, which I mentioned is in its sixth season now. And apart from that, I am um, I am learning film. Okay, I'm, I'm currently engaged in a skills transfer training program with a team from India that have collaborated with um, Oran Academy. So I'm a student there, learning all things film. Who or what inspired you to start acting? So when I was in high school, um, in 11th grade, I joined the drama club. And um, I remember the, for the first time ever, I went to the Natas Festival in a play that we did as a school. And I was the co-star in this love story. It was my first time and only time on stage, actually, because I've not had, I've not done theater from that time. but. 
it was it was beautiful and i was very small at the time i was really skinny so my fellow pupils used to call me ka genevieve come zambia <laughs> And because growing up, I watched the like of Genevieve Naji, Omotola, Messi, Imiedo, because my mom loved Nigerian movies a lot. And every time I watched them, I was, I was inspired. I knew it was something that I wanted to do. And this was only confirmed in high school when I was on that stage. And oh, the adrenaline and oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful to be there. It was a beautiful experience. And I just knew this was something that I wanted to pursue on a more professional level when I was done with school. What do you enjoy doing in your leisure time? <laughs> I'm a very boring person, okay? I'm quite boring. So, I'm a home girl. I like to watch TV, you know, I watch a lot of TV. I like to read and um, I love cooking. Okay, I, I, I'm passionate about cooking. I actually did a short course in food production, so I love cooking, I love baking. Whenever I have some free time, I spend it in the kitchen with my little girl and we'll be having fun, you know, making some muffins or whatever. And of course, um, I like to just take my daughter out to the play park, you know. She loves the jumping castle, so <laughs> free time is ice cream dates with her. You know, play parks, uh, movie dates with friends, because girl time is important. So <laughs> um, you need to catch up with your girlfriends. So yeah, I do movie dates uh, when I can. Um, a little chills here and there, you know, helps one to stay sane because oh, wake up, no play will make so be a dull girl. So yeah, that's about my fun time. If you were not acting, what else would you be doing? I would be a lawyer. Objection, my lord. No further comment on that. <laughs> so tell me, who is your favorite actor or actress in Zambia? Ah! Oh, can, can, I, can, I not, not, can I not answer this one? <laughs> That's a difficult one, though, because oh, I have a lot of favorites. Because we've got amazing talent in Zambia, you know? Got a lot of favorites, especially actresses. So to be asked to pick just one. Ah, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, I am not going. Okay, I'm gonna try not to be biased. You know, I don't want you to say I'm biased. So I won't choose my mentor. I won't say oh, I'm okay. Even though in saying that, I've already made. <laughs> saying that i've already mentioned him but no i'm not i'm not i'm not picking him let's cancel that i'm gonna pick him but yeah because i don't want to be biased only because i don't want to be biased so yeah i won't pick him but whew. it's a tough it's a tough question okay i think my favorite actor um <clears throat> can i get some water <laughs> i'm kidding um Congratulations. Yeah. I think I'll go with Kangwa. Um, I, do I have to explain why? <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's 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 an undeniable fact that he's a brilliant actor. You know, when you watch him in Cabanana as Jason Cabanana and um, you watch him play a villain on Suba as Jaden. Oh, both names actually start with J. I've just real, I've just realized that now. Yeah, so when you watch the two dynamics, it's it's beautiful to see. He's got range. That man has a lot of range. And he has this energy that you, that he brings to each character. And you can feel it. You can see it on screen and you can feel it even on set when you're acting with him. And I grew, I grew up watching him on TV. So for me to actually be on the same set with him, you know, it, it, it's, it was something beautiful. And his energy is just beautiful. It's contagious. So, yeah. For not being biased, <laughs> I think I'll just congratulate him. And my favorite actress, any day, any time, undoubtedly with my eyes closed, will be Francia Msiska Mujangwe. Woo! That woman is a beast. She's brilliant. She has range. I don't think there is any role that Francia cannot play. 
I I don't think there's I don't think there's anything. But oh, she's good. She's 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 that good. So yeah, those would be my two favorites. Who is your favorite international actor and actress? That would be Will Smith. I've always loved Will Smith growing up. Um, I love his comical side, also his serious side. He's he's brilliant. He's brilliant in his craft. And my favorite actress would be Viola Davis. Viola Davis is the best. She also just has her own energy that she brings to each character that she plays, which is just really beautiful to see and to watch. And you know, you can just follow her journey in the in the story and you know her emotions and everything. She's amazing. She's amazing. <laughs> And that's it for this week's episode of Insights with Zambian Film Stars featuring Sophie Mbao. Hello, my name is Sophie Mbao and thank you so much for watching Kesiwa TV. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don't, I get up on oh, no, no, I don